camera again. It's going to be crazy. Hello, my name is Emily Shea. If you're new here, if you've already been here, welcome back. I missed you. I haven't even been here. That's just how we're going to start the video. We're going to address it really quick. I haven't been filming. I think it's been a month since I got out of school and that was the last video I filmed and posted. But we're back and we're back with a reading vlog. This video is going to be me forcing myself to finish my July TBR. The books I'm holding in my hand are my July TBR. We have one book finished, which is Vicious by LJ Shin. Five star book. Five star read. We love Vicious. We love Amelia. Help. We love them. Five stars. The next book that I am currently reading, and I don't even think I'm 10% in, but we're reading Powerless by Lauren Robert. This is my first fantasy, and it's a YA. I'm not even 10% in, and I love it, and I know that I'm going to be reading more fantasies going forward. Other books. Yes, my TBR stack for this month. I have Her Soul to Take by Harley LaRoe. And I also have another book by her that's in this like little trilogy she had. They're standalones, but it's like a trilogy. Very popular on TikTok, but I'm just getting to it. The second book is Her Soul for Revenge by Harley LaRoe. This is also on my TBR. And the last book on my TBR is The Serpent of the Wings in the Night. This is also a fantasy book that I picked up. This book is also by Carissa Broadbent. This is a Crowns of Nyxia novel. It's like a series, and this is the first book in the series i don't have the second one but i'm also reading another series as y'all just saw i'm reading the lauren roberts trilogy and reckless just came out this month and i picked it up i did pick it up haven't started it because i haven't finished powerless so i don't even know how i got myself to get in this book and haven't even finished powerless but i just knew i wanted to hear more about kai and Hayden. I'm sorry if i lagged right there i wanted more of them so i picked up the second book because i'm going to continue even if the first one isn't a five star Continue. Reckless is not on my TBR for this month because I'm not forcing myself to add another book even though I know I'm going to want to read this as soon as I finish Powerless. I'm going to hold off and continue with these books. The titles and all that is all messed up but we have four books that I need to read. Let's fix these around. These are the four books I have to read for the rest of July. It is the second week of july going on to the third one and i need to get through my tbr i'm not playing this is my longest tbr yet but i'm recently on goodreads and i set my reading goal for the year at 25 books and i'm trying to get through that and i'm trying to even change my reading goal because i'm reading so much that i can read more so with that being said let's start the video get it to reading she doesn't want me I like a challenge of course he does but she's made it abundantly clear on what she wishes us to be competition enemies and more importantly why is it that what I want as well we love somebody who knows what he wants we love somebody who knows he might not know what he want in the future but he know he don't want this that's all I ask for I am currently on page 129. I passed the 10% mark that I set for myself. This book has 500 pages, so I'm using like every 100 page as like a 10% mark. And once I get to 50%, that's when I'm finished the book pretty much. So I'm 10% in and I hope to get at least 25% in before I start reading for today. So far, the book is doing good. This isn't like a spoiler or anything, but we're like close to the trials. We have a ball coming up and it's just going to be so freaking good. Like I just know it's going to be good. I love balls and like books and I haven't had a ball in a book because I feel like that's more apparent in fantasy books because who the heck is having a ball in 2024 let's be real since I'm reading in my bed I also think I'm going to switch over to my kindle y'all y'all have not seen my kindle ever I think I don't think I've ever seen my kindle and it's because I don't use it a lot just because I didn't want to pay for kindle unlimited yeah but I have a job and I get paid so I can do a monthly subscription and I think this is one I'm going to stick to 
for like every month of course so i'm going to get my kindle it should be it should have been over here i don't know where it is so we ended up not reading on the kindle because one amazon stressed me the heck out trying to start a new subscription for kindle unlimited also number two powerless isn't even on the kindle app so yeah i think you can buy it but it's like 12 dollars. i'm not buying it i paid for the hardback i'm not buying more of the book so i can read it on the ebook so we're just gonna have to stick for reading it on my actual book and i love physical copies i do i just like this for the convenience of just laying in my bed with it but that's fine we might just have to do that with the next book because i think that's pretty much on kindle unlimited this is going to be my last update for tonight it is currently 10:45. 10.05. It's 10.05 at night. And when I was reading, um, the house next door got lit on fire. Like, right next door. And all our houses are connected. So, of course, I have to, like, evacuate my house. My neighbor knocked on our door. But I didn't hear it because I had my headphones on. Luckily, my mom called me. And just as she called me, my brother was coming to my room. So, luckily, he heard it. But, um, we got out the house. I got my dog. And... We just waited outside the fire people came and it was just settling down we're all okay our house is okay for the most part I, I think it's okay um they said it's okay um me i don't know honestly knowing me you gotta give it a couple days because right now i'm just that happened but good night i love you guys my camera is literally dying but i love y'all oh my god 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 I don't know why did I knew I knew like I didn't know this like this was something else but big car not a little one big car not a little one like mm -mm. wow wow five stars five stars five stars and a goodreads review i left a review if you want to see my goodreads review please go follow me on goodreads y'all because I left a review. It was amazing. It was amazing. Five stars. Five stars. This is my second five star read in July. As y'all know, Vicious is a five star read. This is my second five star. Some notes going into reading Powerless, I would definitely say this is a romanticy. Yes. Romance is in this book. Romance is in this book. I definitely would say read this if you want a romanticy. The banter, amazing. Top tier. The best banter I've ever read i think fantasy wise i think the fantasy was more action based of course it's fantasy because the action is them using power so of course it's fantasy but i think it was more action based and more power focused if you ask me but this is a perfect book the perfect romanticy and i haven't read many i have not read many so maybe you want to take that how you have you want to take that however you want to take it i really recommend this book five star five star review this is a picture of me literally falling apart as I'm reading it. I'm going to read a quote for y'all now because Kai, Kai, Malachi at that. <laughs> Kai said, as tempting as it is to watch you stare at me all night, sleep pay. And she said, are you going to sleep? He said, oh darling, I'm already dreaming. <laughs> the next book that we read on my TBR is Her Soul to Take by Holly LaRoe. I am currently 120 pages in on chapter 13. I started the book, I think, yesterday or the day before that. I was trying to, like, get some reading done, read faster, and I'm able to read this book on my Kindle, so I feel like I'm reading it a little bit faster because I have my Kindle, more time to read, da, 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 you get it. Um, so yeah, I have been getting through this book pretty fast if you ask me, but... I'm not that interested. I updated my Goodreads not too long ago and I was like 19% in on Goodreads and like 22% on Kindle and for me it's 10% in because this is like a 500 page book and each 10% leads up to the 50. Y'all know how I do this already. Updated on Goodreads and I said that I feel like this is a 3 star. So yeah we're going to continue reading. This is a dark romance, paranormal and a demon. We deal with the demon and a human of course. 
we have like some cult scenes going on because it's like surrounded around a cult and a god and all that type of stuff so that's kind of like a gist of everything our main character she summoned the demon yeah anything else would probably be a spoiler so that's all i'm gonna say about this book i feel like it's a three stars where i'm gonna continue reading and hopefully it's rating gets higher <laughs> If you're staring at the screen right now and you don't see a difference, you need to open your eyes and really look closely because I have a new camera. I have a Canon PowerShot V10. It, oh, hiccups. It came in the mail yesterday. I'm so freaking thankful and happy and I bought this all on my own. I'm proud of myself. I'm glad that I could do this for myself. I'm thankful for my parents for always supporting me and everything that I do in this channel. They watch literally every video, every single video single video sorry for my hiccups and thank you for my brother who loves this camera well any camera honestly because he thinks he's a youtuber too he could be he could be i'm just thankful for my my family and for being able to do this for myself and i'm just very happy and excited now we're going to just get into this book update i had spent the entire yesterday uh, uh, obsessing over my camera so i'm kind of ready to just use it now i was reading her soul to take by harley larobe but i dnf'd it i had around 100 pages left i was on 378 but i dnf'd the book because i didn't feel connected to the characters i didn't know anything about them i felt like and then i didn't feel connected to to their romance because i felt like they didn't even know anything about each other it felt like it was just for the spice like it wasn't even um they belonged together i didn't feel like they needed to be together and i'm trying to wrap this up so i don't keep hicking up on y'all but yeah i really did not enjoy this book so i won't be reading the second book in this series because i met the couple for this book and this book and i didn't like them i didn't like them and i didn't like the couple in the third book either so i will not be continuing on with this series i feel bad that i stopped reading at literally 100 pages left but i just couldn't keep reading i didn't even um enjoy my time reading it no shade or anything that's just honestly my general opinion about the book and i know for sure that these books are for someone it's just not for me so we're going to remove my bookmark and these two are checked off of the T tbr list and we only have one book left in my TBR. That book is Serpent in the Wings of the Night. This is by Caris, Carissa Broadbent. Um, this is a series, a fantasy series. We're going to be getting back into the fantasy world, but not right now not right now i have work today at five o'clock it is currently 304 and me and my dad are gonna go out really quick and get some ice cream or something before i go to work before i go to work and i don't want to start this until i get home so i might just start this when i get home from work or i'll just start it tomorrow when i have a little bit more time actually actually i don't have any more time tomorrow because i work in the morning tomorrow tomorrow sunday today is actually july the 20th so we have 11 more days of this month and i have 11 days to get this book finished it took me about a week to finish powerless i want to finish this book in less than a week because this book was around 500 pages and i got through it pretty quickly like two two three days honestly so this is around 500 pages i want to get through this two three days Hello, we have to read today. Sorry for this freaking weird angle I'm at. I'm trying to figure it out. But we started Serpent of the Wings of the Night and I started it yesterday? The day before yesterday, it wasn't yesterday. And I have not read much. I think I'm on like page two. 
I'm on page 10. Yep, I'm on page 10. I'm only like 1% into the book. <sighs> we have eight days left in July and we need to finish this book before July is over. So we're going to read right now as much as I can. Let's go. Let's go to the bottom of my bed. <laughs> really enjoy this main character like she's so me not gonna lie like they talking about how she didn't keep her room clean and she said i've had bigger things to worry about than cleaning that's so me and then i love her because she cuts a lot like that's that's just me being real because i cuss a lot if i'm being real so i freaking love her i'm only on page 19 so hopefully i keep loving her because i love her Hello, it is officially time for an update. I have been in like a life slump and I'll get a little bit more into that after my little update, but I've been in a life slump so I haven't been filming a lot of reading this book. I am still reading The Serpent of the Wings in the Night. I am currently 49% into the book on my Kindle and I'm 239 pages in out of 486 pages and it is currently July 29th. I thought it was the 28th. I thought it was the 28th. I thought I had four days to read this book. I do not. That was yesterday. Now I have three days to finish this book and I do have work today so I have to read as much as I can before I go to work and it's already 2.42 and I work at 5 so yeah. We're going to read as much as I can today but so far for an update of this book it's definitely started going up. Not going down. It's been starting to going up because I feel like the first half of the book has been pretty boring but now we have some things happening, some good things y'all. It's been like, not good things, it's been like some messy things y'all like it's been some stuff happening it's been making the book interesting like some action like it's definitely got me tuned in and i feel like for the first part of the book i was really bored with it like i feel like everything was going slow and i didn't feel connected to our characters our main female character i don't really like her a lot i did like her but then i feel like it went downhill i don't really favor her a lot and our male main character i don't feel connected to him and it's probably because we don't have his pov and i don't really get to see his thoughts and, but i feel like he just meant to be mysterious i don't know but we don't know much about him and i definitely can't feel them connected romantically because there's been no romance happening no romance happening i'm pretty sure this is a romanticy maybe it's more fantasy than romance and i totally get that but for me i need me a book with more romance than fantasy because after powerless that's my type of book recommend me some books that are like powerless then then you have me there i hope as we go on with this story it keeps going on this path is going right now because it's been getting super interesting and i can't take my eyes off my kindle the reason i've been reading this book so slow is because of my own life slump it's not really been the book even though i said the book was a little boring i can usually get through stuff like that pretty quickly but no the reason i've been reading this book slow is my own life slump i have had a bad couple days a couple days ago and now i'm just like in recovery and trying to feel better but my body also hurts right now my back has been hurting for at least a week and it's only because of my job um i'm bent over a lot so like not bent over but like curved in my back a lot and it definitely gives me pain in my lower back i've taken it home and i haven't really had a lot of time to recover just because i work like five days in a row and i'm off tomorrow luckily and i'll have more time to read and to relax and just recover a bit so hopefully my back does get better it's been something that's been like bothering me and not really helping me and just making me feel worse 
and as for my life sub mentally i just was going through a couple things just for me like just my own head or whatever but i'm trying to recover it takes time it's definitely not something that's quick and i don't think it'll be something that's quick so yeah that's kind of like an explanation i'm gonna stop talking now because i've been talking ahead of uh, i don't want to hear about no freaking life slump in a reading look so let's get back into reading Oh my god oh my god page 410 oh my god what the heck what did he just say what did he just say this is unexpected this is crazy literally we go from one thing to the next oh wow uh, Oh well. It is finally time for final thoughts, final ratings, final reviews, final everything in this video because this is the end of this video and I feel like my bun is lopsided. Is it lopsided? It's probably lopsided but let's just get on with the review of each book that I read in this video along with each book on my July TBR. The first book I read in this video was Powerless by Lauren Roberts. This book was five stars oh my god i have no words i'm just so ready to read reckless and continue on with this trilogy i cannot wait for the third book to come out i don't even care about the novellas i just want kai and payton i just want kai and payton i'm sorry the next book that i read in this video was her soul to take by holly laroe i rated this book a dnf actually because i did not finish this pages I didn't finish this pages. I didn't finish this book. I got to almost the end. I only had 100 pages left and I just could not continue reading this book. I don't want to bash the book, but pretty much the book just wasn't for me and I didn't have it. So I also met the next couple in that series, which is the couple in this book and I did not run away about them and I didn't want to read about the couple in the third book. So I decided to not even read this book because I knew I wouldn't enjoy it. The next book that I didn't read in this video, but was on my July TBR and I finished it. Let's just get into those three edges because they're pink my favorite color the the entire book just gives everything this book was five stars vicious and amelia were five stars i did not expect myself to like that book as much as i did but i really enjoyed reading that book i was just laughing and giggling and just you know the last book i read in this video and i have not shared my rating for this book yet but it is serpent of the wings of the night by carissa burrow bit and i rated this book 3.75 stars because that ending Oh my gosh, just bumped it up a couple. Like, I wanted to give it four stars, but I was like, I couldn't give it four stars because it wasn't, like, four stars there for me. Like, it was an okay read, but that ending just added some... Um, I gotta rank it up a little bit. I gotta add it up a little bit. So, I definitely gave it 3.75, and I will be continuing on with the next book because that ending, I have to. I have to. I wasn't going to. I wasn't going to. But I feel like as this book comes to conclusion, it just wraps up and just makes you think like, yeah, it wasn't that bad. Nope. Had me rethinking literally everything I've read in this book. I love this book. I love it. But it wasn't a four or a five stars, but I would say 3.75. And I feel like the next book might just be a four or five. I read three books in this video. I DNF'd one. I had one book I already read before this video and one book I did not start because I did not like the premise of the book. So that's my July TBR. My July reads, how much I read in July. These are all of the amazing books that I read and thank you for watching this video. Thank you so much for supporting me and I'm so ready to get back on YouTube and fill y'all up with a whole bunch of content. So I will see y'all next week and give me a kiss in the comments. Mwah.